Today you will learn a few more tips to increase the realism in your 3D renders. I will be demoing with V-Ray for 3ds Max, but most of these tips are going to apply to any software. Part of the reason that 3D is getting more and more realistic every year is due to more computing power. So everything in 3D is made up of polygons and the more computer power means we can render more polygons than ever before. More polygons mean more details and more details mean more realistic objects. Years ago, organic objects such as trees, plants, flowers, pillows and fabrics were really hard to make look realistic because we had so few polys to play with. But now we have more than enough to make things look as real as real life. So taking a look at our scene, our tree and our seating is really adding to the realism of our image because these are organic objects. So we can always add vase and I'll use the place tool to put that on top of our table. This throw as well will soften up our image. And this is gonna require a bit more than just putting it on the table. And you can always add an FFD modifier to this to just quickly shape it. And luckily we can't see on that sofa, but if we were, we'd probably spend a bit more time on this. Or you could create your own cloth and use the cloth modifier. So what we can do is add a pillow and I'm actually gonna import this as a mesh because I'm gonna add the cloth modifier to it. So let's select our editable mesh version. I'm gonna delete this other one. And I'm gonna move that just above our sofa. If you hold Alt and right click, you can change to local. Now when I rotate, it's gonna rotate locally. And if I add a cloth modifier to this, go to the object properties, and we wanna make this object a cloth, and we'll just use the cotton preset. And we're gonna add another object, and that object's gonna be the sofa. And we wanna tell 3ds Max that this sofa is gonna be a collision object and we'll hit OK. And now we can hit Simulate. Then you can find a nice position for that in the simulation. Once you find what you want, you can set initial state and erase the simulation. And now that pillow is in position. And I just find that this works a little bit nicer than just positioning the pillow with uh, the move axis. And so here's our scene with a few more organic objects added. Keeping things real is important if you wanna make your images look real. And this goes for lights, materials, and cameras. And the closer to reality that our virtual world is, the more realistic it's gonna seem. And this is why it's a good idea to keep materials on real world scale. And you'll notice whenever you create an object, you're gonna have real world map size on there. So if you have that ticked on, and you apply material, then it's gonna show up at real world scale. And the same goes if you have a UVW map and you turn on real world scale, it's gonna come in at real world scale. So you don't need to mess around with your UVW maps. So this is a really good habit to get into as you're gonna save loads of time by just keeping everything real world and it's also gonna make your images more realistic. So what real world means is in here we have our coordinates. So we've got real world scale on and it's 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. And what that means is we've, we're telling 3ds Max that this image we've input is 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. And that's gonna reflect in our scene. And this goes for models as well. If you bring an object in and it's not to scale and you just bring it in and start trying to eyeball it, the chances are you're not gonna get it dead on. And these are the kind of things that are gonna give away your images as 3D. So if you wanna download this and the other scenes we're gonna use, then take a look at the link in the description. There should also be a few Chaos Cloud credits in there. And if you like this video, then like this video.